Good morning and good afternoon to everyone. Welcome to the Abbott and Stalims webinar. We are the co-host for today's webinar. My name is Ankit Kangar. I'm the product manager for Biospectrum Asia. Biospectrum is an integrated B2B media platform for the bioscience industry in the Asia Pacific region. It engages its readers from pharma, biotech, and medtech industry segments through its media products and services at daily, fortnightly, and monthly frequencies across countries and globe. And this webinar is focused on how LIMS mobile application can improve your laboratory's workflow. Before we start the webinar, there are a few house rules. Let me take two. All participants are placed to mute and listen only mode. In case you have any questions, type in question and answer section once question and answer window pop up. We will answer a few question and answers if time permits. This webinar is available on demand on biospectrumasia.com. And today's speaker is Ms. Tiffany Gabriel. Let me take through a brief role of Tiffany. Tiffany is an experienced LIMS consultant and business analyst responsible for implementing LIMS software solutions. She has over 15 years of experience implementing LIMS technology solutions across multiple platforms and client industries. After receiving her Bachelor of Science Chemistry at the University of Newcastle, Tiffany joined Alpha Farm, a generic pharmaceutical manufacturer as a chemist and was responsible for implementing a LIMS into the laboratories. After six years administrating the system, she joined Abbott Informatics as a consultant, where she has led the implementation of Stalin solutions across different sectors. Let me introduce Tiffany. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, great. Thanks for that. And thank you, Biospectrum, for the opportunity to present yes. today. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I wanted to discuss with you how Starlim's uh, mobile solution can help your laboratory with a few things. Um, so we have gone through slightly through my background, um, but I did want to mention that um, one thing that led me to, to, to sort of go into the limbs and IT sector is I've always been passionate about using computers to make life easier. And quite early on in my career in the laboratory, I, I did have the opportunity to implement a LIMS and I stuck with it because I kept being able to see how common solutions can be solved by using um, you know, LIMS and laboratory applications. So uh, just looking at the agenda, in today's fast changing and fast paced business environment, we all accept that accreditation is critical to your business, but we also understand that it can take, uh, sorry, it can be time consuming and onerous and dropping the ball on something like accreditation can be unfavorable to your business. Today, I'll be providing a high level overview on how utilizing a LIMS with tailor-made mobile applications can assist with your regulatory compliance. I will also take you through how Starlims can help you improve your laboratory workflow uh, while saving your organization time and money. So why is accreditation so important? I'm sure uh, if anybody is working in a regulated space like the pharma or biotech industry, this looks pretty, um, pretty pretty standard, but um, when you look at the slide, you might think, gee, it's a bit doom and gloomy, uh, but these points are actual outcomes that can happen to an organization and its individuals that ignore regulatory and compliance rules. So let's say a business releases a product for consumer use that was not safe uh, due to using personnel that were not competently trained in the testing they were performing. So they needed maybe say specialist HPLC training and they didn't do the training, but they performed the test. The ramifications of this oversight could be immense. Um, you know, patients, if it's a medicine product, patients could become very ill or even worse. This could lead to defamation of the business brand, heavy fines and even closure. Executives could receive jail time uh, but all employees would be affected by something that was essentially preventable. 
Accreditation is so important because it demonstrates organisations are following the regulations, thus minimising the risk of these disaster scenarios playing out. Okay, so an immensely important part of, mo um, of modern regulations such as uh, FDA 21 CFR Part 11, which anyone in the pharma industry has heard a thousand times, which basically is just the electronic requirements uh, for compliance, um, deals with data integrity and demonstrating your business is maintaining it at all times. I have spoken about why accreditation is important, but let's take it down a level and look at why data integrity is important. What could happen if our business um, did not maintain data integrity? So all of those consequences I have listed there uh, on the slide, such as customer complaints, uh, product recalls, equate to a loss in revenue and put your business's future at risk. Ultimately, no matter what the business is, um, your main aim is to ensure that your products are safe for sale. In order to achieve that, you need your quality testing to be compliant. Data integrity is fundamental to ensuring your laboratory results are accurate. So following on from that, uh, what is required to ensure your laboratory maintains data integrity? You might be aware of the ALCOA acronym, or I'm gonna call it ALCOA for short. Um, it's used to summarize the requirements of data integrity. But I wanna discuss each one and explain how ELIMS can help you achieve the ALCOA expectations. So if we look at attributable, it means who performed the action and when. Um, all data entered into LIMS can be attributed to the user that was logged in at the time, and changes made in the system can be configured to require electronic signatures and a reason. So you're ensuring that your results or data entry is always attributed uh, to the person. Um, so legible, uh, clearly legible means can the records be read? And if we're talking about handwriting, it can be difficult sometimes, especially if you're trying to read something that I wrote. All records are readable and permanent in LIMS. This means they cannot be altered in LIMS without triggering the audit trail. Um, as an added bonus, all the inf information is uh, entered into LIMS is typed uh, or captured from other systems. So the legible part becomes easier. You're not reading people's handwriting. Um, contemporaneous. That might be a tough word to say, but it simply means, was the result recorded at the exact time of capture? Using a LIMS it is, is the only way to guarantee this requirement. All testing that is performed in LIMS will have a date timestamp attached to the record by turning on the audit trail. Um, original or true copy means, is this the record, is this, sorry, is this record the first time that it is produced or is it a copy? Can, uh, LIMS can help you minimize your copies in several ways. So instrument interfacing to LIMS removes the transcription point, ensuring your records are original. Uh, by entering results directly into LIMS, you remove transcription onto reports such as the certificate of analysis. These reports uh, can be produced directly by LIMS from the result that was recorded in the system. So no one's taking it from a paper record and typing it into a report. You're removing that transcription point. And finally, accuracy uh, requires no editing to be performed without it being documented uh, exactly what a LIMS handles out of the box. Now let's look at how a LIMS solution that includes mobile applications can help your business maintain uh, data integrity. Mobility can insist with contempor contemporaneous results capture, which is fundamental to your business compliance. If analysts can perform their work on the go using their mobile device, they not only will, ha will be happy because of the convenience of it all and the lack of paperwork, they will be entering in, uh, results directly into LIMS exactly at the time of capture. This will build a robust audit trail that can be easily recalled at any time to prove to an auditor that your data integrity was maintained throughout your quality testing. Good story. In my previous life as a uh, LIMS administrator for a laboratory, there was some questions about the quality of work being produced by one of the analysts, by management and by their peers. 
So by delving into the audit trail for the testing the analyst performed, let's call him Bill, uh, I was able to quickly prove things weren't adding up. Results for tests like loss on drying, where the dry time of about four hours, say, between weight measurements were being entered minutes apart. So I'm looking, if, if this analyst did do the test correctly, I'd be looking at them having a result, say, entered at 8 a.m. and then a result entered at 12 p.m. for the weights, but they were being entered minutes apart. So something's not adding up, which meant either Bill was not entering the results in a contemporaneous manner, or worse, he wasn't performing the analysis at all. Um, an audit trail in LIMS is a powerful tool, and management was able to take rapid measures to rectify uh, the quality issue that that analyst was um, you know, bringing to the business. Okay, uh, following on from that nightmare quality scenario, which we all hope will never happen to your business, here are some examples on how the LIMS can help you achieve the Alcoa expectations, which include full sample traceability, the complete automatic uh, audit trail, which we discussed, and also having compli compliant controls on access to the system. It is also important to have a LIMS that is compliant with either even the most stringent uh, 21 CFR Part 11 FDA requirements. Um, set out for pharmaceutical products as these provide you with, the, with controls on the data such as electronic signatures. It's also critical that you can show your sample genealogy right from receival of the sample through to final results displayed on the certificate of analysis. LIMS gives you the power to prove your data integrity and mobile applications make it extremely convenient. I think that's the key, and that's something that I'll keep coming back to throughout the presentation is mobile applications make it very easy. So with all the fun compliance details out of the way, uh, let's delve a little bit deeper into LIMS mobile applications. I'd like to start just by looking at a simplified uh, standard lab workflow you can see on the screen now. Now your workflow uh, in your laboratory might be much more complex, uh, but that's actually good news because mobile applications have, um, they help you optimize your processes. So the more complex, the more optimization uh, you have, ability to optimize, sorry. Um, looking at this workflow, you can see the samples must be collected or received, prepared for analysis, run on instrumentation, uh, have the results collected and then reviewed for release. So the more tests that you need to require uh, to be are required to be performed on the sample means the more complicated this workflow will become. Hence, what I was saying before, the more opportunity for workflow optimization. Uh, from the point at which the sample is delivered and received, uh, sorry, I've skipped ahead. Hold on. Um, okay, so. If we have a look at here, this is just a little diagram I've got of an example of what can happen to a sample once it enters in uh, into your laboratory. So the little lines on the diagram kind of mon uh, mimic where the sample is going or where an analyst is going throughout the day. Um, so yeah, looking at the previous example of the simplified lab workflow, it can mean, um, it, what can that mean from a sample tracking perspective throughout the lab? You can see like from the diagram, it can get quite messy. Uh, from the point at which the sample is delivered and received to when it's finally released uh, in the lab, it's gonna be moved around quite a lot of times. Um, from the example here, uh, let, let's say that the sample is received into, into the central receipt area and then moved to a prep area and then onto a balance room before finally uh, following that green path out there onto the uh, analytical area where other instrumentation exists. So on top of that, the, the analysts have to walk back and forth through the lab with their sample and paperwork to perform their tasks. Many of these walking paths include analysts having to go back and forth to access computers in key locations or to retrieve hard copies of SOPs. Um, the analysts are definitely getting their walking steps in for the day in, in this laboratory, that's for sure. So 
A lean laboratory is one which is focused on processes, uh, procedures and infrastructure to deliver the results in the most efficient way in terms of cost, need, uh, sorry, speed or better yet both. The lean process is derived from the concept of lean manufacturing pioneered by Toyota in the 1940s, but it's still relevant today. The goal of a lean laboratory is to reduce resource usage and costs while improving productivity, staff morale, and laboratory driven outcomes. So there's eight typical laboratory wastes defined in the lean process, um, often described as downtime. And the eight include, uh, number one, defects such as errors or corrections due to work not being performed correctly. Uh, number two, overproduction. So an example of this would be producing too much of a testing reagent or maybe making it too soon than it was required. So maybe it might um, go out of its validation period or uh, expiry. Uh, number three, waiting. Uh, when, a, when work stops due to in, insufficient staffing, uh, long setup times and mismatched production rates. An example I can think of this that actually happened in the laboratory that I worked for was uh, one of the glass cleaners called in sick. So we actually had a senior scientist washing glass that day so people could continue on with the work. Um, obviously, if there was a plan in there for staff, uh, you know, if staff were away, then hopefully that wouldn't happen. Um, Okay, and uh, number four, not using our staff appropriately. Um, number five, transportation or unnecessary movement of samples around the lab. Um, so I think back to that little diagram that I just showed you before where that sample's going everywhere. Uh, number six, inventory. For example, buying too much or having too little of a test reagent on hand, that can cause issues. Number seven, motion. This means the excess movement of people, equipment, paperwork, or electronic information, often caused by poor laboratory layout. And finally, extra processing, or simply put, adding more work than required into a process. So now, having a having a modern limbs, uh, a modern like enterprise limbs such as Star Limbs, can help improve most aspects of these lean wastes. But you'll still, but you might be able to guess from from the previous diagram that I'd like to discuss with you um, motion. Now a limb solution cannot fix a poorly set out lab, but Starlim's mobile applications can optimize your process by reducing the motion. Some of the paths shown on that previous slide can be removed entirely just by giving analysts on the go access to all the information that they need at any given time. So that removes the need to walk back and forth, back and forth, throughout the laboratory to perform their tasks. Now, what can Starlim's mobile apps actually do? Well, the one thing I think is most exciting is that you can utilize your phone or tablet's camera as a barcode scanner, which means you do not need to be lugging around a hand scanner to quickly access information in limbs. You can also take pictures with your device devices camera and attach them to your sample information at login or result entry. On top of that, you can use your device's GPS to help you locate the samples that need to be collected in the field. And as, sorry, and is, um, so this is one thing that I sort of read, you know, what what's a device's accelerometer? I actually had to sort of research that because I didn't know what it meant. Um, but basically it means that the device, when the device's orientation is changed, such as you've got your phone in portrait mode and then you move it to landscape mode, um, you know, the app should change with it. And Starlim's mobile app is able to do that so that it enhances the user experience, just as any app would in, that they're used to using. So Starlim's itself is a website. So in order to access it from a computer, you need a stable internet connection. The Starlim's mobile solution, however, contains applications specifically designed for activities where the user might not have a stable network application, uh, sorry, connection, such as like in the field when they're walking around trying to collect samples. 
So the basic operation mode of these Starlims mobile apps are number one, you download the necessary data from Starlims whilst online. Number two, you perform the site activities and manipulate the data whilst offline. And then finally, number three, you upload data back to Starlims when an online connection is available. It is important to note you can access the Starlims mobile applications from both Apple and Android devices, and the Starlims app can be downloaded from the platform's respective app stores. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the Starlims out of the box applications. So the sample collection application allows different user roles to collect different types of samples using the handy mobile app. Uh, for example, if you're a manufacturing facility, you might want to notify your manufacturing staff that they have to collect a thousand tablets from a newly produced batch and send it to the lab for testing. Or you might want your laboratory staff notified that they need to cl um, collect some environmental monitoring samples from places around the plant. Uh, or finally, you might want to notify warehouse staff that they need to sample the newly received batch of raw material uh, to send it to the lab for testing. The sample collection application allows users to collect samples in the field where internet access might not be stable, uh, such as in manufacturing suites or out in the surrounding environment. Uh, users download the list of samples that have to be collected before leaving the laboratory and then use the offline mode in the field. When the user returns, um, as described before, with the internet, all they need to do is sync their actions back to Starlims and the software will maintain an audit trail in offline mode. So this ensures that the contemporaneous data integrity requirements are upheld. And um, as an ad bonus, the users can also scan barcodes, take pictures and record their GPS location uh, in the application. This application always shows what samples are due for collection, you know, which ensures nothing is missed. I know a lot of the, the problems in laboratory could be, oh, we didn't know we needed to sample that or we forgot. This, this app tells them what they need to do so nothing is missed. Okay, so um, this is funny and again, this comes from my experience in working in labs. Uh, a common problem laboratories face is not having enough space. So often, com um, often completely replacing paperwork, you know, you do need to have one computer per analyst and have computers located where the resulting is being conducted, you know, on prep benches and things like that. And, you know, laptops are not often a viable solution because again, they still take up space even though they're portable. The result entry mobile application allows users to conveniently enter results directly into LIMS without the need, the need of a computer, solving this tricky issues. So gone are the days of waiting for an available computer or even worse, fighting with other analysts over whose work is more important and who should have the computer. To, to use the app, users can search for their sample in the system, either manually or by scanning the barcode attached to their sample container and enter the results directly into their mobile device. They are also able to upload pictures and make comments if required. This removes the need for paperwork which is a massive time-saving initiative. Data integrity is also maintained by removing transcription points. The system audit trail can also prove that results were entered in the contemporaneous fashion. And bringing it back to lean improvement, analysts always have the tools they need on hand and aren't having to run back and forth. The inventory mobile application is one of my favorites. It allows users to scan barcodes on inventory items such as reagents or consumables and pull up inform information for that item in the system, such as expiry date, custodian or amount left. The users can then make transactions on the inventory items such as consume some of the item, uh, change the location um, or they can dispose it. With this handy app, you can save your analysts a lot of time hunting around the laboratory looking for reagents. Um, another great process improvement example I can think of is um, when I had to work 
in, in the laboratory, it was someone's job every Friday to go around the HPLC rooms and check each mobile phase bottle's expiry date. Anything to have expired during the week was disposed of. It was a very time consuming task and no one liked doing it when it was their turn. Well, if the lab had Stalims installed, they would be notified when a reagent was about to expire. And since the reagent has a location listed in the system, the analyst can walk directly to it and with their mobile device, perform the dispose action in the system right then and there. This is a great time saver for analysts, but also ensures your lab is maintaining regulatory compliance by removing the potential error of using exp expired reagents in testing. Now, there are more out of the box apps that I don't have time to discuss with you today, but we also recognize that businesses might have the need to build their own specific applications, tailor-made to fit their laboratory processes. The mobile designer allows your tech savvy staff to do so. Um, the powerful designer is built so that you can target both iOS and Android devices from the same platform. You don't need to hire app developers for the Apple or Android platforms or invest in special, uh, you know, in, in programming environments different uh, to Starlimbs. Instead, you actually use Starlimbs programming skill sets as well as the existing Starlimbs server that you have um, and you can develop your own apps. And when you're ready, you can deploy them through the mo our Starlimbs mobile app solution. So the user is basically just opening their phone or tablet, clicking on the, the Starlimbs app, is logging in to the system, and then they'll have a series of apps inside the Starlimbs app that they can do. So like the inventory, the sample collection, anything that you design, it will be all there for them in the one Starlimbs app. And just thinking of mobile ideas, um, it's exciting, and it but it does require a different mindset than thinking about you know, traditional limbs. Mobile apps usually perform a single task quickly and easily, and you don't want your users to have to spend a lot of time interacting with the device, and you want the screens to be intuitive and to avoid unnecessarily unnecessary clutter. So the principle of mobile apps um, and keeping it simple, it really rings true. So I've talked a lot about the benefits of mobile apps for lab analysts in particular, but anyone in the business that needs access to LIMS data can benefit. Uh, so example I can think of is an IT administrator receives an urgent phone call out of hours that a user has locked themselves out of the system. Normally they would have to get out their work laptop, start everything up, log into the system before they even get to reset the password. Um, now imagine that they can receive the call whilst in bed put the user on speakerphone, reset the password right then and there using the app without having to do any of the other steps. Um, clearly no one wants to get a call in the middle of the night to reset a password, but I know that if I could do it on my phone right then and there without having to get out of bed, I'd be a lot happier. Um, and you know, how about managers that require to perform urgent releases? They can now do this from their phone uh, when they are nowhere near the lab or their computer. So it all becomes very convenient. And just breaking it down a bit more, I've got listed some potential use cases where mobility really benefits users. Um, I'm sure all you managers on the call are thrilled about being able to perform your routine administration tasks from home. Uh, but hey, if you do have a phone or a tablet at the time with you, you know, and you can perform these tasks at a time that suits you, so you've got a break in your home life, it's much better than having to work really late or starting really early in order to keep on top of your laboratory tasks. And we spoke uh, before about the sample collection mobile app and how it can absolutely make staff involved in environmental monitoring's life easy. But the list of roles it can help is beyond that. And anyone involved in, you know, for example, cleaning validation or the receipt of packaging materials could utilize the app to perform their role on the goal, uh, sorry, on the go as well. 
Laboratory staff can even use the mobile inventory app when they see something that doesn't look right. So, you know, imagine you notice a reagent sitting on a bench untouched and a few hours later it's still there with no analyst in sight. Well, I mean, you could ignore it or you could uh, get out your phone, scan the inventory, work out where it should go because the, the Starlands app will tell you where the location is um, and you can put it back in its rightful place. So not only is this good teamwork, but it safeguards against you know, any unscheduled auditors coming into your lab and finding out that there's stuff sitting in the wrong place. So data is only as good as its usefulness, availability, and the knowledge it provides. You cannot improve uh, what you cannot measure. You need to know the facts in order to make informed decisions and tangible improvements to your laboratory's efficiency. But all the data in the world um, about your lab's workflow is no use unless you can draw meaningful conclusions. For that reason, Abbott Informatics set out to provide laboratory professionals with a way to visualize their lab process data so they could potentially increase uh, productivity and efficiency, lower costs, and identify new opportunities for improving your business. We take all of your lab workflow data and present it in a way that shows the relationships of that data so you can make informed decisions towards a desired goal. Um, Advanced Analytics allows you trans to transform your data into actionable insights. Now, imagine your laboratory has been up and running a few months with Starlims, and you've got a lot of historical data in the system now that's been entered through mobile applications or the standard LIMS website. What can you do with it? The integrated advanced analytic product allows you to automate those analytics. But why is this important? It's because it allows the users to be proactive instead of reactive. It can be used to detect potential problems before they become an issue with your product or your service. The advanced analytics tool being integrated into the Stylem solution is a huge advantage for businesses. It means you don't have to buy, install, validate, and maintain a separate, a separate software package to perform analytic functions. The screenshot I have on the, on the screen here you can see, um, it shows out of spec reports for different products manufactured by this organization. Uh, the advanced analytics report allows the lab managers to easily see which products and tests are having the most issues, allowing them to focus their um, continuously improvement efforts in the right place. Although in saying that, it's pretty much, uh, some of these are pretty average here, we're all in the 80s. <laughs> okay, so here is another dashboard that I've got, and it's out of the box dashboard, and it can be used to forecast the capacity of your laboratory. The system, uh, the system will use your past trends to alert you of any potential issues uh, with your staffing or equipment availability. For example, you might have times where your testing is high, but your staff availability is low during due to public holidays, etc. It can it can make it can enable you to be uh, proactive and, and manage that before it actually becomes an issue. So the advanced analytics uh, dashboard templates that are provided out of the box via our content library. So you have the ability to download them and personalize them or expand them as required, which means it speeds up the implementation of new objectives in your laboratory. You don't have to start a workbook from scratch. You already have some of the data filtering there that you can tweak according to your requirements. Um, advanced analytics reports can be exported emailed and saved. This helps integrate the lab data with external systems such as regulatory agencies. And advanced analytics is truly turning your data insights, your data into insights and allowing your laboratory to continuously improve. So why choose Abbott as not only your LIMS vendor but your business partner? Abbott Informatics commitment to quality is unprecedented in the field of Laboratory Information Management Systems, or LIMS for short. Abbott Informatics quickly ascended into a leadership role in quality by obtaining certification on ISO 19001 compliance from
from the prestigious BSI certification organisation. Um, Abbott Informatics then raised the bar to a brand new high uh, by obtaining ISO 13485 certification for BSI, which means that our systems are held to the most stringent standards of medical devices. And our customers that, you know, and to our customers, it means that our commitment to quality uh, is, manifest, is manifested in this strict adherence to these ISO regulations. Um, so it's, it's inherent in our processes, in our software, in our management, in our customer service, in our issue resolution processes, in virtually every aspect of our company. Abbott Informatics unparalleled investment in quality means that our current and prospective customers can rest assured that quality is our guiding principle. Increased volumes of data coupled with an increase in complexity of that data are best addressed with tightly integrated processes and, solution and systems. So first let's look at the differences between interface and integration. So a software interface is a bridge that allows two programs to share information with each other, whereas software integration means that the product works as one solution. So um, as you can see from that picture, LIMS is part of the fully integrated Star LIMS um, solution required for your business transformation. LIMS is one part and then you've got the other parts including the mobile application which we discussed today. A LIMS that provides integration, not just interfacing between business processes, also provides integration with laboratory equipment and with systems will help maximise your data accuracy and allow you to produce efficient workflows. It also helps minimise the risk of data, uh, sorry, manual data result entry errors. So let's have a look at time and money savings. Uh, Starlims and our mobile solution not only aids in your compliance to regulatory bodies such as the FDA or European Pharmacopeia, it can also produce real time and money savings to your organisation. I've listed a few examples on this slide and I'm sure you will agree that these savings are not only good for the business, but they're also good for the employees. For example, removing double handling of data um, or transcription checking uh, from an analyst day allows the scientists to get on with real scientists, science work. They're not doing admin tasks. So in summary, mobile applications uh, can really help your business with their continual process improvements or lean activities. In this short time, I've demonstrated that the Stylum system is inherently able to support you through and assist with lifting accreditation burden. The tools are already available immediately within the Stylum's application, which gives you the confidence that regulatory and safety requirements are effectively managed and met in a cost effective manner. One last thought I'd like to leave you with is um, to do with staff onboarding. So if we have a think, what person in this day and age can't use a mobile application? Um, Today, my, my 73 year old mother arranged her own transport using the Uber app. I personally did not see that she would be able to do it, but she has done it. She has arrived safely and you know, she didn't need my help. She was just able to pick up her phone and the app talked her through. So that's the same thing with the Starlims application. They talk you through the use. Um, so when you're hiring new staff, you need to be able to get them up and producing results as quickly as possible Training, training costs you time and money. And what better way to get them working with the mobile apps first? They're intuitive and in a few minutes, the analyst will be totally experienced in its use. It honestly took me longer to learn my old laboratory's correction paperwork procedure where you had to sign and date and reason if you made an error than it ever would to learn how to use a um, Starlim's mobile app. Okay, so that is it from me. And um, if we do have some time, I can happily answer some questions. OK, 
Okay, we're just waiting to see if any are coming through. Yes, there is a one question on mobile application. Sorry, could you read the question to me? Yes, just a minute. Thank you. Okay, so the question is, can you please explain how to validate the mobile applications? Okay, so um, pretty much you would validate the mobile applications in a similar manner to how you would validate a normal LIMS application. Um, but the only difference would be how you would validate the out of the box applications versus uh, ones that you've made yourself using the custom designer. So the out of the box applications, um, you pretty much just, you would, you would have a validation plan and perform your user acceptance testing. But obviously anything that's custom made and designed yourself would require more rigorous validation. So, um, you know, through, through your normal validation process, you would have your Starlims um, testing server where you would perform all of your uh, user acceptance testing or validation. And um, with your mobile device, um, you would have your test mobile device and you would be performing your test cases hitting that test website. So um, the only difference, I guess, between standard you know, standard, uh, standard validation and mobile application is you're not performing it on a computer, you're performing it on your device. Okay? Yeah, thank you. So since we are running with a short of time, we would answer each and every question that you sent to us uh, separately. And uh, so thank you for attending Biospectrum Tuesday's webinar on LIMS application by Star LIMS and about info informatics. Uh, our all registrants and attendees will be able to view the recording and able to access the watch on demand webinar. Thank you so much. Thank you. Goodbye. Yes. Bye bye.